Peace up, A-Town. Hey everybody, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're gonna play a mod today. This is the Rainmaker. Let me pull up the uh, Steam description here. This is a mod by Metes13. And basically it's a tribute to one of the bosses in Anti-Birth. So he's got a unique way of firing. Uh, we're gonna figure that out as time goes on. But this is a very uh, cool mod and I'm excited to play it. So let's just hop right in, man. This guy seems uh, pretty cool. It looks like we can fly, and then yeah, this is how we shoot. <laughs> so when you go up, uh, they go to the sides, and when you go like this, they go in any direction. It's pretty dope. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's really cool. Plus we can fly, which is great. Uh, but the tears will actually home in towards enemies, uh, which seems really good right now. But it's also just like, you know, this is a unique way of shooting tears. And I hope that we can get some insanely dope synergies on this run as well. Uh, because apparently, there are a bunch. So I hope that we can uh, uncover that and give this mod exactly what it deserves. Because let's be honest, uh, this is dope as a rope. And I'm very excited. Oh, God. Uh, okay, sack of pennies is okay. Money is good. I'm not positive this mod adds uh, anything else besides uh this character and this item that goes with him and i'm not saying you know man screw you because you don't add enough stuff in your mod i'm just saying like there's nothing else that we should be looking for per se on this run uh we just have to create some good synergies with this guy so the main plan here uh one don't freaking die on another modded run. It seems like that's the only thing I do these days is uh, die on modded runs and I suppose regular runs as well. But who cares about those uh, when you can play modded runs. But don't die. You want to likely go to the chest uh, to attempt to get more items. You want to attempt to make it to boss rush on this one to get more items. You want to attempt to make it to uh, something along the lines. Ow. Something along the lines of hush to get more items. Just anything that can increase the opportunity to get dope synergies with this is what I'm down for. That being said, the whole not dying thing, probably got to work on that a little bit, if I'm being honest with you. Let's, like, do this. That was a little sketchy, honestly. And then just blow that up. Thank you. A spirit heart is beautiful. I don't know if this guy can't pick up red hearts. I have a feeling he probably can. I... Uh, but yeah, I'm sure we'll get an HP upgrade soon enough that we'll be able to test our theory here. Do a little bit of theory crafting early in this episode. I'm sure that's what you guys all want to hear. Because who doesn't love some good theory crafting? You know what I would really love on this run? Give me a range upgrade, man. Range would be a dope thing to have here. Now, the only thing that we got to keep in mind, we can release them before we get the full three. Now, it's probably in our best interest to try to get the full three, but, uh, I mean, like, stationary bosses and enemies, this is a insanely good item. It's when they start moving that I start to get a little sketchy, but Cuba Meat's good. Uh, it's a little extra something-something to add on to our run, just in case our tiers become bad. I also really don't know how Rate of Fire works with this. Do they come out faster? I I'm guessing that would be the most logical reasoning is that they would come out faster you know so something like soy milk just sounds like stupidly not even good but just stupid in terms of its usage so you know sign me up i'd love to get it there was a list of items that had uh synergies but we're gonna basically just take like anything that well i suppose if we get a room with a reroll thing and we're not positive if something has a synergy then we will attempt to get a synergy from there the mulligan is fine by me this is great for damage i'm never really going to complain about an item like the mulligan nor will i complain about getting guppy on a run if we happen to get it let's go to our secret room secret room contains a singular piece of poop not really really at all what i'm looking for if i'm being 100 percent honest with you how are you guys doing it's early oh here's the seed by the way sx e1 p1 j8 uh just in case you wanted to play along in this one but uh it's early in the morning just like when i normally record isaac nowadays and i just got back from a nice class and I'm, i've been having a good time 
lately. With just life in general. Life has been pretty okay. I hope that life has been good for you guys. I would love to get Steam Sale. Steam Sale would be a great addition to our run and we are damn close to getting it. As many of you know, I go to a, uh, a technological school and I'm studying a uh, computer security type degree. I say type degree even though it's literally computer security is the degree. But uh, a lot of people always ask me, they're like, you know, oh, computers, that must be like really easy, right? And I'm like, yo, computers aren't exactly the easiest thing in the world. I mean, is this a, like, do people, you say like, oh, computers, that's pretty easy. And then you look at, you know, old man Jenkins trying to download the internet onto his computer and you're like, oh yeah. Computers are pretty easy, aren't they? But I feel like, like, the knowledge of computers, people think they know it all. If you can work Microsoft Word, people are like, Psh, I know computers. And it's like, no, you really don't, my little friend, you. Uh, it's a lot more than Microsoft Word, man. I'm of the opinion, start getting mandatory coding classes going in all these classes. You know? You got mandatory art classes, why not have mandatory- Oh, dude, damage when you get a damage up is so good. Uh, get some mandatory coding classes. It doesn't have to be anything special. You want to teach kids Turtle and Python? Go for it, man. Turtles still code. Basic Boolean logic is something that should be used for literally everything. I don't want that. Yeah, Tears Up does help a significant amount. This is good to know. Okay, let's take our Ansus rune. I still would love to get Steam Sale. Let's try to make this happen. But, like, I look at the things like, you know, Minecraft being used in schools now to teach Boolean logic. You know what? That's pretty much all I'm asking for. You want to just, like, give kids Minecraft to play in class? Go for it, man. As long as it's teaching some form of, like, basic computer stuff. You know, in the end, we're going to walk out. And, well, in the end, it doesn't even matter. But in the end... Uh, we're going to basically have computers controlling our lives anyway, so we might as well learn to take control of them now instead of waiting for them to take control of us, no? Am I in the wrong here? Somebody tell me I'm in the wrong here. And if you don't like your mandatory coding classes in school because you are a progressive school that already has one, uh, then you know what? I respect that. You don't have to like every class you take. I hated history. I think it's really boring to learn about something that happened, you know, 900 years ago. Oh, but Tyler, that could save you in the future by knowing what went wrong in the past. Oh, yeah, that, how's that working right now with our current presidency? I'm sure that's really doing great things. I just think people are a little bit like, you're naive to the future it is the problem with this generation. And by this generation, I don't mean the millennials. I mean, like, the adults of our generation. The baby boomers. If that's what your real name actually is. I don't really know where I'm going with this. Uh, Steam sale is going to be dope for us. Because we can now buy a lot of stuff from the shop at a cheaper rate. I know that we have spent seven minutes on the first two floors. And I recognize that that is not the greatest course of action that we could have possibly gone through. But... Uh, we do have an Ansu's rune, so we're going to be speeding up the uh, time a little bit here. And that means that we should be able to make up some time uh, in the whole, you know, we talked about wanting to go to boss rush scenario. Ao, Ao, what's the scenario? The one thing I'm not super thrilled about is the fact that we could be looking at deals with the angel here. And I also now realize that this guy definitely can only get spirit hearts, which definitely... Uh, I think that that's a good thing because this character would be incredibly overpowered uh, if he wasn't, if he was able to pick up red hearts and could take deals with the devil relatively easily, uh, etc, etc, etc. I think that this is uh, a good choice. You know, I, I played, you know, face reward. We played as Botus. Botus was a little bit underpowered in my opinion, uh, but it was still a good character just because it started you with an item that normally a lot of people don't use and you can kind of see like where that item was good balls of steel is incredible uh i don't really think we need a spirit heart i'm just gonna happily abstain for the time being what we do want is a freaking key 
so we can get into our item room here. Uh, and freaking key we're not going to get. So now I think we go down, uh, we go into our secret room, and then bomb into our cursed room. See if we can get some uh, stuff going in there. I would love to get something, I mean, something like a guppy's head, just to have a spacebar item that we can, you know, slam our hand onto every single room. That sounds like a pretty good time to me. You know, honestly, any spacebar item sounds like a good time to me. Book of Revelations or Satanic Bible, I'm relatively certain, will just win the run for us. But, uh, we'll see what happens. That's enough money to make the shop worthwhile if there was anything in the shop we wanted, which there really wasn't, so never mind. Uh, come on, Curse Room. Give me something great. I mean, one black heart is not what I normally would consider great. I mean, this guy is annoying as all hell, isn't he? One black heart's okay, though. I mean, this is deal with the devil fodder if we can get... A deal with the devil, which I'm still, you know, a little bit skeptical about, if I'm being honest with you. A deal with the angel's fine as long as you give me an item that actually benefits the run. I mean, something like the body isn't really doing a whole hell of a lot for me. Now, I would love to get Sacred Heart or Godhead or something. Godhead with this would be stupidly good. Ow. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. Let's just continue on. Uh, if we can make it into our... Oh, we, we still need a key, man. We haven't been to our item room. I mean, I would really enjoy getting a key on this run. Maybe we'll run back to the shop, see if they have a key for sale. Do the rest of these rooms, try and get a key that way. You know, latch key wouldn't exactly be a bad pickup for us uh, from this boss fight. You know, it comes with the spirit heart. We'd be able to go to our item room and open up that golden chest in the previous room. But this fight's going fine. Uh, I'm still really enjoying the way that you shoot in this game uh, with this character. I think this is like one of the funnest items in the game. If you were to get it outside of uh, playing as the Rainmaker. It's pretty cool. Uh, we also got a small damage up. We'll eventually get to a point where we have decent damage on this run. At least, you know, I freaking hope. Because if we don't, we're going to be in a... Uh, Real crappy spot. I don't think that's worth it. I think you use the key on the item room. Play it safe. No reason to use it on a golden chest. Golden chests are just man's uh, guilty pleasure anyway. Just look at all the pirates from the uh, early settlements. <laughs> settlements was probably not the right word there. The pirates from the early life. You know, they looked for treasure. Do you see any pirates now? Yeah, Tyler, there's still pirates out there. I suppose that's a fair point. Uh, purity is a good thing, or aura, or whatever the hell it's called. We do have another key. Should we open the golden chest? Tyler, open the golden chest! Tyler, open the golden chest! Okay, we'll open the damn golden chest. Golden chest contained a lover's card. That's why we don't open golden chests, okay? Head down to the next floor. Uh, the aura, purity, blessing thing... Is going to be really good for us. It's increasing our range right now. But as soon as we get hit, uh, the damage up from it could be great. And the tears up from it could be greater. So, uh, I'm excited to see this. This is a good synergy, I think. Uh, we'll see what we get on the next room. It's really like range and speed are not the greatest in the world. The damage, though. The damage we're going to feel. Like, I'm feeling it already. I just love, it'd be one thing if you just shot them straight out like this. Like, that should be an item in among itself. The fact that they then home in on the enemies similar, like, I remember playing this guy in Afterbirth against this guy. He was the, uh, first floor, or by first floor, I mean first anti-birth floor. He was in the downpour, and, uh, he was a pain in the rear to defeat. <laughs> I'm not going to deny, it was a pay, like really horrible first or second boss to come across. Uh, so it's kind of cool seeing just how well this guy, the mod maker, uh, Medes, it's cool to see how he implemented this guy so well into uh, Afterbirth Plus. And that's just, that's the kind of innovation, man, that I love. You know, seeing the fact that these people have created this stuff, and, and I say created this stuff, but that's not even really giving credit to the fact that this was all created within, like, two months of the modding API being out. 
That's a lot of work, man. You know, I look at what I do for YouTube, and granted, uh, it's a little bit different because, you know, I'm getting a substantial amount of benefit, and these people are just making it for the hell of it, essentially. Uh, I mean, I suppose the chance to get into the game is cool and all that, but, you know, with a mod like this where you're taking an idea from another big mod, I'm not really seeing Nicholas going and adding that into the game. And by Nicholas, I also mean admin, but I feel like Nicholas also probably has a say in it. It's just like, it's a lot of work. <laughs> and, you know, we're going right back to, this is why you should code again. But, uh, you know, it takes a lot of work to code anything, let alone something that doesn't really benefit your life in a substantial mad revenue income type way. Maybe I'm also totally wrong, uh, and people are getting paid by the dollar to make uh, Binding of Isaac mods, but I have a feeling that's probably not the case. We are probably going to get to full HP here, uh, which is stupid. Uh, not yet, but close. And we will take this uh, and then step on out. There is a stone chest inside of our item room. And you're probably like, hey, Tyler, if you ever want to make it to boss rush, you're going to have to move like quick. And I recognize that, uh, but I feel like I'm doing the due diligence of the game here. You know, we're, we're showing off the damn item, okay? We're showing off the Rainmaker. It's a beautiful mod. I don't need to speed through it. We can take our damn sweet old time. You know, this run is not over the top good yet. You know, there's a chance it could be very soon. You know, we get Magic Mush from this uh, boss, and we're starting to look like, you know, there's nothing in the world that can ever bring me down. You're the best around. Uh, but for right now, it's kind of just like, we're building up. We're at full HP now, which is huge for us, but uh, we're building up to that point. Eventually, we're going to be sitting pretty. We're almost sitting pretty. It's like we're just right there. But we're not quite there yet. Tyler, an item from Boss Rush would help that though. Okay, I recognize this a decent amount. But please, allow me to do my work in peace and silence without your annoying jabber coming in on my videos. That guy's been coming in on my videos a lot lately. That also came out a little bit weird. Come on, Chubb. Give me Cat of Nine Tails is okay. Okay, we're up to nine damage. Uh, with, of course, the purity aura effect going. But 9.5 damage is nothing to be, like, upset about in the slightest. Also, it's really dark. If I remember, I'll bump up the brightness, but you know how that goes. Decent chance I'm not going to. Not because I'm lazy, just because I don't like you. Uh, but that's beside the point. Slow down the enemy. Spider Butt is not good, by the way. Uh, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not really holding down the fort in terms of a good item here. So, once we get a better spacebar item, I will be loving to utilize it, but we just don't have it yet. Demon Tail. Not better than a speed upgrade, I don't think. The speed upgrade's not really that substantial, but it's still a speed upgrade. And when our speed is not necessarily huge, I don't mind having it i actually wouldn't mind having a tiny bit more speed you want to give me something like mom's box uh, of trinkets that would be a great item for us because we can make use out of the doubled uh the doubled trinket that we have right now but also use out of getting new trinkets to make our run better you know certain worm effects would probably be hilarious with this uh item okay mom you can stop that Honestly. And also, if you want to pop up. Have we gotten hit in like 42 floors? I'm starting to feel really good about my Isaac skills, and I feel like I shouldn't. Magic Fingers is not good enough. We're going to stick with Spider Butt. But maybe it's just like, my, my talents are being inflated by the good mod here. But, uh, I'm feeling pretty okay here. I haven't played this well in Isaac in like 92 years. Okay, just head down. I would still love to get into the shop. I think that might be a balls or balls of steel pill. Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, let's let's play this guy then. Give me that dope syringe, and we can get that crack a lacking. 
I'm gonna like pound that. Okay, ceremonial robes is okay. Is this a secret room? It's not. I have a feeling we may be able to bomb into our shop, please. Oh, you the son of a gun. All right. Uh, what do you think? Right here? Let's try right here. Oh, you struck out, Tyler. Okay, let's go into our boss. Uh, we're going to pick up ceremonial robes after. We got a 100% chance at a deal with the devil. So I'm kind of like, you know, why not try our best to get in there and then use the full HP from ceremonial robes after? I think that that's not the worst idea on the planet. We're going to get a second level cube of meat here, which is like pretty bad. So we get an angel deal that just gives us more HP. I'm starting to get a little bit dumb if I'm being honest with you. Let's take ceremonial robes. Uh, and then let's just head down, I guess. We lost all of our great damage uh, that we had from the purity aura effect. But that's okay. I would love to do that room. Cricket's head would be fun as uh, being done on a run. On this run. I would love to get... Small rock. I mean, double spirit hearts. You're giving me so much HP, I need the stat upgrades, man. We will probably not be making it to boss rush. I can't believe I missed. Oh, boy. Uh, we will probably not be making it to boss rush unless I start doing something phenomenal here. Plus seven on my range is just a slap in the face, to be honest with you. Who really gives a damn about plus seven range? So let's actually utilize the curse room in order to attempt to uh, change that. Instead, we're up to three damage again. That's fine by me. Ten damage is a good amount of damage. Now, there is also uh, something to be said for just chocolate milk spamming shots like this. Uh, it's a little bit, you know, carpal tunnel-y for me. But it could be good. I, don't know, I feel like it's best to just charge up all the way pretty much all the time on this kind of thing crack that uh we don't really care about an arcade boss rush officially out of the question uh we, we knew this kind of and mama mega was already in a shop earlier so the chances of that being in our shop is relatively low toxic shock is really good uh it's a good room clearer i do want to like actually go to our shop for once on our goddamn life uh, since we haven't really been able to ever on the past couple floors. Secret room contains... God, so little anything. Uh, secret rooms have just been absolutely abysmal on this run. But what are you gonna do, I suppose? Sometimes life hits you in bad ways, and in this case, it was basically just life hitting us in bad secret rooms. Shop, please. Shop right here. Uh, we don't really want that. I mean, this is a good opportunity for us to attempt to get Mama Mega. Or Plan C, which is completely different from Mama Mega. Mom's box of trinkets. We have to. We're going to continue to hold on to this. Uh, now keep crack-lacking. Just see if you can, like, force Mama Mega into existence. Apparently you can't. Uh, so take Black Candle, buy a key... And then, I mean, double no is not really anything that's intriguing me a whole lot. This just seems like it's going to be weird. Oh, yeah, that's that's wild. Uh, what do you think? Stick with this? It seems like a horrible idea. So let's do it. We'll rock this until we get a better trinket, basically. Uh, or a stupider trinket. Since this one's pretty stupid. Yo, I would love a deal with the devil here. I feel like it's been, I mean, it's been since the first floor since we've gotten one. Deal with the angel. God dang it. Uh, deal with the angel. Oh, contains crown of light, though. What do you think? Siren Mega Satan run? Let's do this ish. Do kids still say that? Probably not. Well, we lost uh, crown of light already. But we'll get it back here shortly. I haven't had crown of light in a long time, and it's a damn good item, man. It's a significant damage up every single room until you get hit. You know, not as great on stuff like Hush, but as a room clear, absolutely phenomenal. Okay. 
granted, that fight was horrible uh, due to the fact that we had the situation that we had. 20 damage now. Okay, I, I can't deny I'm looking forward to dropping Hookworm. But I will, I will continue to use it until we get a better trinket. That trinket doesn't do anything for us. I can't do it. I cannot do it. Come in here. No reason to ever do that room. Keys are good. Uh, Hush is still an option for us on this one. Am I super excited for it? The answer to that is a hell no. Uh, but we could do it. And we would get items from it and utilize a shop from it. So, you know, it's tempting. I'm not going to deny. And if we make it there on time, there's a good chance that I will try to go ruin my run in the Hush fight. You people deserve it. Watch battery could be pretty good to try to get some extra charges. You know what? Let, let's let's roll with it. I, I think that uh, Hookworm, you, you've, you've done your crime for the day. You've taken another victim. That victim was me. Uh, but in this case, I, I survive it. So, it's all okay. Two of Hearts will never be useful for us. I'm literally carrying around a card that does jack all for our run. Uh, which, you know, couldn't really be happier about. That's exactly the kind of item that I wanted. Let's try to go for a deal with the devil, please. Plus 2.5%. That's not that much. Lucky Toe. Endless Nameless. I like Endless Nameless as a trinket. You know, getting a crap load of luck also seems very good and has very positive implications but uh endless nameless could be fun if we can get a year rune or something to continue popping over and over and over so let's roll with it sister vis you're gonna get destroyed uh if i'm being honest with you and it's really not gonna take that long to demolish you deal with the angel why though uh the halo is good though i mean it's a stats upgrade we'll take dessert despite it doing absolutely nothing for us and then we will head down uh, to the next floor, and it's looking like Hush is going to be a thing on this one. Yay. Uh, we had the keys for it. We have everything for it, honestly. We even have full HP and have had full HP for like 40 years. It's been 40 years since we had low HP. Uh, hairpin. I don't think it's what we need here but i'm happy to see the new trinkets uh popping into the game here for those that don't know hairpin will uh charge up your active item before each boss which is you know pretty good ace of hearts this is more useful than two of hearts despite still being pretty bad for us two of diamonds now that i can get behind uh even though we're literally just going to pop it now have the shop have restock, and then we'll be sitting real pretty right now with many, many Two of Diamonds cards. I forgot about Endless Nameless. It's going to be uh, pretty good if we can get restock. We have restock Steam Sale, which is incredible. Okay, let's, let's get the hell out of this floor. Honestly, we'll fight Mom. And we haven't gotten, like insanely overpowered and we haven't really gotten any uh dope synergies on this one which makes me really want to play uh, another run as the rainmaker and try and get some more synergies but we'll see what happens maybe we'll get some from the hush fight and if not maybe we'll get some from the chest and that would be a good time also i'd like to note oh it's so good the hush fight has been worth it we got 32 damage boys uh it's also worth noting that if... Oh, God. Oh, God. Does technology do anything? Let, let's let's check. Let's check. Oh, Tech 2 does things. Why do you gotta do this to me? I have no idea what this is gonna do. But we have to take it, right? Oh, yeah. That is some weird stuff right there. <laughs> Alright. Uh, frankly, our damage is still incredible. And I think you definitely take lead pencil here. The damage is still really good. And I'm excited to utilize it. I mean, the judgment, you might as well play him, right? See if we can get anything going out of him. We have the freaking money to do it. If he gives us anything but HP, I'm going to be perfectly okay with him. I mean, that spirit heart we can grab after the hush fight. Eh, it's just HP. It's a horse pill. Cool. 
Yeah, I mean, Lead Pencil is in fact doing stuff. It's just a little bit weird in how it's working. I don't know, man. Let's do this. We've also gotten three Two of Diamonds to pop. Holy hell, the damage is so good. Why is the damage so good? <laughs> this is beautiful. We have found the God Synergy. Oh, I love it. I'm so glad we picked up Tech 2, and I'm so glad that we found a Synergy on this one. If this doesn't inspire you to go into the description and check out this mod, uh, I frankly don't even know what does. Because this is just... This is a dope hush fight. Now, we are not going to fight Delirium just out of the chance of uh, getting some more synergies on the chest. Tyler, you can get items from Delirium. Yeah, but they're all bad. Like, have you ever gotten a good item from Delirium? The answer to that is no. So, we're not going to do Delirium. We're almost done with Hush already. This is actually borderline stupid. Why? I don't understand why it's so powerful, but I love that it is. It's so good. I don't even care that I got hit. Hit me more, frankly. Uh, are we actually invincible when standing right there? Well, the hush fight's done. <laughs> so good, man. Uh, Golden Horseshoe is not good, though. I have to readjust myself in my chair since I sit like an idiot in it while recording. What do we got in here? That is an angel. The angel has hit us. The angel has dropped a card, which is the sun, which is pretty good. Uh, and we will inquire to pop that in the room following this one. Following this one. Following, okay. Following this one. There we go. Cool. Uh, let's go fight our mini boss. Why not? We might as well. Maybe it'll give us a... Uh, I don't even know what we could want right now. Maybe it'll give us nine lives, which would do jack all for us because we're going to win the run anyway. Oh, it's just going to give us more HP. No thank you. Do you check out the uh, mob trap room? The answer to that is who cares? Oh, the damage. <laughs> Dude, the rate of fire is so low now. It's so beautiful. The, the, this is a run, man. If you don't like this, you don't like the Binding of Isaac, uh... Afterbirth Plus, man. All you people that said Afterbirth Plus is bad, at least you can play as the Rainmaker in this one. Huh? Okay, Alges is good. Uh, I would have loved a Yara Rune. And maybe we can still find the Room of Runes? Would that have gotten that? Okay, well... We're just gonna utilize... Oh, God. We're gonna utilize the chest, uh for its four items do we even have yeah we have enough keys we get dead onion which intrigues me we get sad onion which intrigues me oh dude our rate of fire is stupid oh it's amazing <laughs> all right well let's do this yeah okay it's just slightly powerful i'd say little brim you're fairly useless I accept you, but you're fairly useless. Oh my god, this is... Dude, tears are just falling from the sky. Has that been going on this entire time? And I just haven't noticed? We could probably walk into a room and not, and like, never shoot. And still be fine. Yeah, we literally aren't even shooting, we're just dodging. It's so good! <laughs> I, we, we have done this run justice. That's all I'm going to say. It, please add this guy to the regular game. I want to play as him basically every run of my life. What an insanely fun character. And also, what a stupid run. I mean, this is just... I, I almost want to say if you're, you know, sensitive to flashing lights, you might want to look away for this one right now. Because, like... These lasers are off the chains. I just want to fight every floor of the game with this. <laughs> Give me the opportunity to go to Delirium after Blue Baby. Because sign me up. I'll do it. I ain't no little baby. This run is very much so delirium -able, If that's even a word. 
We will never have to pop this Alger's Rune. Uh, it's just how the state of the Union looks right now. Yeah, I mean, this was pretty okay, huh? Jesus criminy. It's so good. Shoop de Woo probably doesn't do anything in terms of synergy, so we're just going to stick with what we got. You know, Mom's Box hopefully would eventually pay out. I don't even know. Does Cancer give us even more at this point? Because I would love to have it. Multidimensional Baby probably will do a little bit. Please allow me to go to Delirium. I I've never once more wanted to just have a Delirium fight. I also want charges and the ability to get the Cancer Trinket, please. I can't even see the room half the time. Which is exactly how I like my Isaac Grunts. Evil Eye! Oh my god, yeah. Okay. That's a good synergy. I like it. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, you, you just fight this guy now. He's dead. Void Portal? Oh, oh you've done it! The Void Portal. <laughs> Never once. Have I ever desired it more? Let's do this, boys. I've never been happier. We get to continue to demolish everything. Give me the cancer uh, trinket. I don't even want to go fight other uh, bosses until we like know that we got cancer trinket. By the way, we will not lose either. I just want to clarify that for a second. That's not the cancer. What do you think? This ain't delirium, right? It's the adversary. Rip. <laughs> Guppy said. Alright. Uh, really completely useless. Tyler, why didn't you pop it? Do you freaking see this run? <laughs> I'm actually... This is probably the most fun I've had hitting Isaac in like two weeks. What a stupid run. It's so funny. I'm just loving it. <laughs> I'm not even saying that just to like... Oh, let's try to make the mod seem better. Oh, we've lost a little bit of our love here. The cage? Dude, don't even try. We've lost a little bit of our love by losing our tier uh, rate. But still, like... Blast assist, hit me once, please. I want to try to get back into... Oh, God, what is it going to do? Absolutely nothing. You know what? I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> Give me somewhere to hurt myself. Yeah, bomb me, please. Plus seven damage. I want tears. I want tears. I want you to tears me. I need you. Nope. To tears me. I want you to tears me. Oh, I need you to tears me. You've done it. Okay. Now, now we, uh continue this beautiful oh we lost oh no we're still good okay we're still good can somebody just make a mod that gives the ability for chests to have items in the void i would come here every single time if that was the case it would be so much more fun i don't know why they like didn't do that an amnesia pill on the void floor is basically just asking for torture come on cancer trinket we want the Cancer Trinket. I'm afraid that's Delirium, so I'm going to abstain for now. Oh, I slammed my body into it. Oh, we're good. Okay. Cool. Oh, I slammed my body into it again. Come on. I want... No, we, we, we've done it now. I want the Cancer Trinket. I want to see just what we can do with it. Oh, we are down to 1 HP. How has I not noticed this? I don't know. Well, now I'm feeling real stupid, huh? How can I get more HP quick? Oh, for one, that Tinted Rock will help. I mean, I feel not incredible about this. Uh, Black Hearts, please. I didn't even notice how many hits I was taking. I suppose that happens when you're trying to, uh... Take damage in order to make something happen. Whoops-a-daisies. Uh, Bloody Penny is not... Great. The poop is not great. Fighting Delirium with 2 HP is not great. Bombing that is okay, though. Small Rock is more damage. Not that we uh, really needed it whatsoever, but that's okay. 
I mean, I don't really want, I want more HP now. People are probably like shaking their head in disgust at what I've done to myself on this run. Uh, but you know what? Screw you, man. Let's take, I mean, Alge's plus Endless Nameless could just single-handedly win Delirium for us. So we're going to stick with that. I mean, there's another one. 404. I mean, it could give the Cancer Trinket. This ain't Delirium, right? Oh, God, it's Delirium. Okay, pop that. Endless Nameless didn't proc. I mean, we're, we're actually going to just demolish this guy, though. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, that's what it feels like to have Delirium melted. That was good. I do want to continue uh, looking around, though, and try and get the Cancer Trinket. Because everybody wants to see it. You want to see it. I want to see it. Wooden Cross is not good. Play this guy just a tiny bit more. One day more. Nope. That's not the right one. Pop this. Friends till the end. We got three more rooms, maybe. I feel like there's probably a little bit more that branches off over there. All I want to see... All I want to do is skip, skip, bang, bang. Alright, we get Speedball, which is fairly inconsequential. Oh, there's even more rooms. Look at all the rooms. Okay. Rate of fire is not decreased. Why do you do this to me? If we die on this run, just know that I did it out of love for the game. Like, we're doing this because we want to wreck the face out of the game. We've beaten Delirium, we've beaten Blue Baby. Like, I just want to uncover dope things now. And I hope you all respect that. So if I die, I did it with a love of heart. Monstro 2, good night. You give me another syringe. Yo, I mean, if you want to give me spun, like, right now, go for it. Wooden Spoon is just another speed upgrade that doesn't do anything to us. When the hell did I pick up Red Patch? Red Patch is, like, the opposite of an item that I want. Now, more HP here. Or never mind. Uh, what? I don't even know. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, if you don't like flashing lights, uh, don't, don't watch the screen right now. Cause it's a it's a little bit weird. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm actually really not positive what's even going on on this run anymore. This is our last boss, and it's Mom's heart in the dark room, which is a little strange. We never got freaking. You know what? We got mods on. Give item. Uh, cancer. Trinket T39. Here we go, boys. T39. Also, uh, you, you didn't give me it, though? Did, or did you? Give item cancer. That gave the cancer item. Give item T T39, man. Just, just give me the damn trinket. Okay, you know what? Spawn battery. And do this like 9 million times. Thank you. Cool. And now, just start crack a on all these until we get it. You're kidding me, right? You actually gotta be kidding me, correct? What does it take to get the damn cancer trinket? We have spawned almost every trinket in the game. Oh, there it is. Okay. We got the cancer trinket. Now we need to get purity back up and running. So, bomb yourself until you can get it. Nope. Okay. Bomb yourself again. Nope. Okay. Bomb yourself again. Nope. You gotta be kidding me. Bomb oh, wait. That'll kill us. Give item cancer. And just continue to do this a bunch of times. Bomb yourself again. Beautiful. It just continues to give us not the one that I want. Please. Yeah, is this actually like a joke right now? Or are we not seeing it? Okay, well, you know what? It's stupid. And, and it's good enough. Sadly, we couldn't beat any enemies with it. We could spawn in uh, Hush right now and then destroy him in like two seconds. Does that sound enjoyable? Kind of. Spawn. Hush. People are like, what in the hell is he doing right now? 
That's a little hushy. What what is hush? 407. This is the joy of modded runs, man. The ability to oh my god. The ability to destroy enemies uh at your own whim. Okay, so that that was fun. If you enjoyed, guys, uh, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Obviously, go check out the Rainmaker in the uh, description down below. And go check him out on the Steam Workshop page, which is where that link is on the description down below. But anyway, that was a fun run. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you did too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!